हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माय चैनल वगैरह वगैरह इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब बिफोर यू द मेथड ऑफ इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ द ड्राइवर ऑफ द प्रिंटर एच पी फोर्ट स्मार्ट सेवन थ्री फाइव जीरो द मेथड ऑफ इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ द प्रिंटर एच पी फोर्ट स्मार्ट सेवेंटी थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी इज द इजिएस्ट वन आई एम परफॉर्मिंग दिस मेथड ऑन विंडोज सेवन and i am hopeful that this method will also work on windows 10 and windows 8 in the case of windows 10 and windows 8 you will have to make some adjustments and i will tell you about such adjustments during this video i also request you that don't skip this video so you are able to install the your driver properly is hp photosmart 7350 is an old printer and hp does not provide driver support for this printer so we will find a way of installing the driver for this printer first of all you will have to hit start menu button then devices and printers after that a new window will appear and from this window you will have to select add a printer then from this dialog box you will have to select add a local printer and then comes the most important step because you will have to make the most important selection so be careful and don't make any mistake when you hit this button a drop down menu will appear and this menu is containing the ports that are available for your printer If you are installing the driver on Windows 7, you will have to select DOT 4 underscore 001 port. And if you are installing the driver on Windows 8 or Windows 10, then you will have to select USB port. And if you find that there are more than one DOT 4 port, you will have to select the DOT 4 port with the highest number. For example, you have two DOT 4 ports. One is DOT 4 underscore 001. in the other is dot4 underscore 002 you will have to select dot4 underscore 002 if you find more than two usb ports in the case of windows 10 you will have to select the usb port with the highest number if one port is usb 001 and the other is usb 002 you will have to select the usb 002 and then you will have to hit the next button hit the next button When you hit the next button, this kind of dialog box will appear, having two columns. One column is of manufacturer, and other column is of printers. From manufacturer column, you will have to select HP, which is the manufacturing company of the of the printer, HP PhotoSmart three seven three five zero. Is HP PhotoSmart seven three five zero is a very old printer. so its driver will not be available in this list it means we will have to go for an alternate option and the printer whose alternate driver we will use for our printer is deskjet 3550 we will use the driver of deskjet 3550 for our printer hp photosmart 7350 but the driver of the printer deskjet 3550 is also not available in this list so you will have to hit the windows update button it will take several minute and you will have to be very much patient as i have already updated my list of the printers so i do not need to hit the windows update button but you will have to hit the windows update button for getting the driver of h HP Deskjet triple five zero in this list. When your update process is completed, search for HP Deskjet triple five zero in this list. I'm searching for it, and here. I have found HP Deskjet triple five zero driver, and then 
you can change the name of the your printer from here as you are installing HP DeskJet 7350. So you can change the name here if you want. Then you will have to hit two or three next buttons and driver of your printer will completely be installed into your computer. Is I do not need this printer to install the driver of this printer so I am not clicking next but if you want to install the driver of this printer into your computer you will have to click two or three.